your Halloween village have low-lying fog? Do you want it to? Today's episode of Black Cat Crafts takes a few things that you may already have around your house to make an inexpensive fog machine that's the correct scale for your Laymax Department 56 and similar sized Halloween Village pieces. To make this craft, you'll need a few things. First, an aromatherapy diffuser or other cool ultrasonic diffuser. Glycerin. This particular glycerin is made from vegetable sources. It's very important that the glycerin you choose for this product is also made of vegetable origin. Anything else may not be safe to breathe. Of course, for the diffuser, we'll need some water. I've also chosen to use a scent. In this case, I'm using my favorite. It's called Thieves Oil. I'll need some scissors and other tools, a set of measuring cups, a rubber band, and a plastic baggie. So let's get started. Take apart your diffuser. Mine has a decorative top that I'm going to set aside. And then two other pieces, a water reservoir with the ultrasonic oscillator and a top that simply directs where the uh, diffused water and scent goes. Setting that aside, I'm going to fill my diffuser to the manufacturer's recommended limit. And then add a few drops of oil. This is scented oil. Totally optional, but I love the smell. It's, to me, it smells like fall. It's got notes of cinnamon and other um, herbs in it. It's just, it's fantastic. Can't be beat. Now for the magic. To help make a fog effect, you're going to need to add something special. Of course, as you know, most diffusers make a little bit of mist, but we want this to look like actual fog, and that's where the glycerin comes in. For those of you who do fog effects, maybe outside for your Halloween display, or maybe you're part of the haunt community, you'll be very familiar with fog juice. Glycerin is an, an important part of that, especially if you're making your own fog juice at home. For this particular application, we're doing it in mini, and so making it yourself has several advantages. One, you can you know accurately measure, as most fog juice doesn't come for many ultrasonic diffusers like this. So I'm just using a standard set of spoons. This one's a one teaspoon. Add a teaspoon of liquid. And now for the next step. If you've ever used one of these diffusers before, you know if I plug it in right now, it's going to spit water and, of course, the, the air, the humidity air all over the place. So to modify that, I'm going to take a plastic baggie and I'm going to allow us to direct the fog. I want the fog to only come forward and I want it to be low lying. And so to do that, I'm simply going to cut my bag. It's got a nice slice there. You can see it, it's about two to three inches long. Put the bag over the top of my diffuser with the slice facing where, again, where I want the fog to come out. Again, the point of this is to contain the water that bubbles up, but allow the fog to come through. So to keep the stuff we want out and the stuff we don't want in. Sounds a little backwards, but it's true. You want the fog out. This particular one has several modes. This one looks like a floating candle or flickering candle, which I like the best. As you can see now, it's already making quite a bit of fog, but it's also spitting some water. 
See that there? I don't know if it's gonna show up nicely. Some of that water just shot all over my floor. But anyway, as you can see now, we now have a low-lying fog effect going all over. It's looking absolutely fantastic. And this will allow me to, of course, hide the look but keep the glow by putting a building in front. So let's do that now.